Alliance. This is Mr. Teague, and I just wanted to say a couple things. We've got the STAR test coming up in 24 days, and uh, I just want to go over some basics that you need to keep in the back of your mind about the STAR test. Um, so here we go. So this is called Let's Talk STAR. And the first thing I want to kind of talk about is how many questions are going to be on the test. Now this year is going to be different. It's, uh, it's going to be an online test. It's kind of interactive. So we, we really don't know what to expect. But going from the past, what we've seen in the past on the paper test, it's been about 38 questions. Okay, so let's look at that. So if we have... 38 questions, right? And you have four hours to take the test, right? How many minutes do you have per question? Okay, so we know there's 60 minutes in an hour. So four times 60 is equal to 240 minutes. Okay, so, so now if we take 240 minutes and divide it by 38, assuming it's 38, we get six and one half minutes per question. Okay, that is a lot of time. Okay, a lot of time. Okay. So, you are not in any rush, and you are stuck, you are in the classroom waiting for everybody else to finish. So, there's no reason for you to rush through this, okay? So, one way you can slow down, make sure you don't make mistakes, is to follow a strategy called cubes, and I have that in my classroom up on the wall. We have it. Uh, we, I've talked about it, but we haven't really reinforced it a lot. But by you using this strategy, you will make sure that you don't make any kind of reading mistake. And that you know exactly what the question is that they're asking for. Okay? So, let's go over cubes. So, cubes, it, it's C, U, U. B, E, and S. Okay? So the first thing, when you see a question on the STAR test, I want you to read it real quickly. Just read it through. Trying to get a gist of what the question is about. Okay? And you have a kind of an idea. Kind of get your mind warped, uh, warmed up and trying to, you know, you know, gather some information that you might know about this question. Okay? Then you're going to go back and you're going to read it a second time. When you read it a second time, you're going to do some strategies on the question so that you don't make a mistake and you're clear about what you're trying to find out. Okay? So C stands for circle uh, important you know what, I'm using too big of an marker. Um, important numbers uh, and units. So if you're looking for units, okay? So you're going to go through it the second time. You're going to start circling any kind of important numbers that you need, any, any, any kind of important units, right? Because your answer has to be in a specific unit, and you have to know what that is, okay? So, number one, circle important numbers and units. Number two, you are going to underline the question. And, if you, and, and I'll provide a highlighter for you if you want, but you need to highlight the question. So, underline, underline question. Okay, so you want to keep that at the top of your mind. What are they looking for? What am I trying to find 
so you don't get off on a tangent or get distracted and don't give the right answer. Okay? Three is B. B stands for box math action words. Okay? So what's an example of a math action word? Well, a math action word, for example, could be like if we you saw the word less than, well, that's going to mean subtraction. Or uh, take away from. Or you might see the word times. Or you might see uh, anything that has to do with addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So how they answer the question is going to give you clues as to what operation that you're going to use to solve the question. Okay? So that's three. Box math action words. Number four is, uh, it's, uh, it is, you are going to, by looking, you've read the question twice now, you have an idea of what you're looking for, you are going to evaluate, evaluate, and you're going to eliminate answers that don't make any sense and A-N-S W-E-R-S and come up with your plan and your plan okay so you can look at the question it might be say it might be something like um, 50 divide it's uh, 50 divided by 5 well you know that's 10, right? And maybe there's a question like 200. Well, you know, that's absolutely crazy. That's not reasonable. It's not, it's not any way that that could be the answer. So you're going to eliminate that. And the more questions that you eliminate makes a better chance for you to pick the right answer, okay? And they're going to throw questions in there to distract you. They're called distractors. So they want to try to confuse you and trick you um, they might take some numbers and add an extra decimal point when there's not one, take away a decimal point, okay? So they're not just, the, the, the right answer that you need will be there, but they're going to throw numbers in there to try to confuse you. So you have to keep straight in your mind whether that answer is reasonable or not. And that just makes the likelihood you pick the right answer better if you don't have that, you know, in your way. Okay, so the last one, number five, is S, which stands for show your work. And solve. Okay, so I know you're thinking in your head, you're going to go, oh, I can do it in my head. Okay, no, you can't because you got all so many other things going on in your head and you can't keep it straight, okay? So you need to write the, the, your work down on paper so you can make sure you don't make a mistake. Plus, you have six and a half minutes per question and you can double check your answer, okay? And I'll do another video here in a little bit that shows you how to circle back and uh, confirm your answer, okay? It's not just doing the question and you come up and you see the right answer and you circle it. No, you want to go back and double check that that is the right answer, okay? So, this is just the beginning. It's a five-step process. It's called cubes. We're going to do this in class some. We're going to practice it. So, uh, look forward to that. And uh, we're going to be practicing star tests till we get to the star test because I want you to be very familiar with all the different kinds of questions, all the different kinds of tricks that they try to use to confuse you. And uh, you're not going to have any trouble. You're going to have plenty of experience taking star test questions so that you will not be intimidated or surprised by anything they throw at you. Okay? So... Um, that's all I've got, Blue Jays, so um, you have a great evening, and I will see you soon. Talk to you later.